production is happening right here in this factory and we'll be starting production in April next year. Recently, at least around 20 Tesla CyberCab vehicles have been spotted operating on public roads in Austin, Texas and Fremont, California. Notably, at least two units observed in Austin were truly operating without a steering wheel or pedals, consistent with Elon Musk's earlier claims. The remaining vehicles seen in Fremont still feature steering wheels and drivers seated in the front, indicating that these are vehicles in an active real-world testing phase. First impressions suggest that the CyberCab is notably compact, with a very narrow body, a minimalist design, and a bronze-gold metallic finish. The side mirrors feature an unusual triangular shape that immediately stands out. Overall, the vehicle appears clean, modern, and distinctly different from Waymo's autonomous cars, which are typically covered in bulky and expensive sensor arrays. The increasing frequency of CyberCab sightings on public roads aligns with Elon Musk's repeated statements that Tesla intends to bring this model into mass production in April 2026. However, what is crucial to understand is that the hardest part of autonomous driving is not the vehicle itself, but the software. How has Tesla fully solved the problem of unsupervised autonomy with FSD? Is a car that drives on public streets without a steering wheel, without pedals, and without even a human supervisor truly safe enough to convince consumers? Welcome to Tesla Car World. Tesla's CyberCab RoboTaxi program has achieved an unprecedented acceleration in technology and an exceptional strategic vision in the autonomous vehicle revolution, moving from initial concept to real-world deployment in just a few short months. Introduced at the We Robot event in October 2024, CyberCab has since rapidly evolved into a production-ready marvel with widespread appearances on U.S. streets by late December 2025. The latest update footage captured a striking scene of 16 vehicles parked at Giga Texas's crash testing facility, complete with deployed airbags and visible structural reinforcements, clear evidence of a rigorous safety validation process that goes far beyond competitors such as Waymo or Cruise, companies that have logged millions of miles yet still struggle with scalability barriers. This fleet reflects Tesla's no-expense-spared approach to certification. Positioning CyberCab for mass production by April 20, 26, with an ambitious target of 2 million units per year, eclipsing the incremental progress of rivals. Public road appearances further reinforce this dominance. Last week, at least three to four different CyberCab units were confirmed to be testing simultaneously in Austin, Texas, a major hub of Tesla activity. Social media erupted with viral proof as Tesla fans shared videos the following day showing two vehicles at the same time. Short clips on X, TikTok, and Instagram garnered thousands of views, capturing yellow prototypes with temporary steering wheels, autonomously navigating downtown streets without direct human supervision. Earlier sightings in California near Palo Alto and Fremont further illustrate a multi-location testing campaign, standing in stark contrast to the stagnation of rival fleets elsewhere. In the San Francisco Bay Area alone, Tesla's registered robo-taxi count has surpassed 1,655 vehicles on track toward a goal of 2,000 trips prior to release in early 2026, including both CyberCab prototypes and precursor Model Y variants. With a CyberCab architecture that cuts the number of parts in half compared to the Model 3, significant cost savings are enabled, promising ride-hailing services priced at just a few cents per mile, disrupting Uber and Lyft while outpacing traditional automakers. Safety data from crash tests on the 16 vehicles indicate durability meeting NHTSA standards. With deployed safety systems validating Elon Musk's vision of truly hands-off autonomous driving. Crucially, Tesla's rapid ramp to roughly 20 test vehicles within weeks of launch far outstrips competitors' timelines. Waymo's fleet took years to reach the dozens, hampered by reliance on remote operation. With only 130 days remaining until production, CyberCab signals a fleet poised to scale into the millions by 2030, powered by full self-driving V13+, Plus, built on neural networks trained across billions of miles. This is not evolution. It is Tesla redefining dominance in mobility, proving that autonomous taxis are not a distant future fantasy but an imminent reality, ready to seize a trillion-dollar market through relentless execution and data supremacy. Investors and enthusiasts alike are witnessing history. Tesla is not merely improving, it is shattering records. The true significance of the CyberCab does not lie in how it looks, what color it is painted, or whether its design appears futuristic. 
its importance comes from something far more fundamental, a design philosophy that is relentlessly optimized for autonomous operation and, above all, for minimizing operating costs. At the heart of this philosophy is a single decisive metric, cost per mile. In autonomous transportation, reducing the cost required to move a passenger from point A to point B is what ultimately determines success or failure. Real-world transportation data strongly supports this approach. More than 90% of taxi and ride-hailing trips involve only one passenger, and the vast majority of the remaining trips carry just two. This means that a vehicle designed to comfortably seat two people is capable of addressing the overwhelming majority of urban mobility demand. From this perspective, designing a larger vehicle with additional seats is not an advantage, it is an inefficiency. The cybercab is therefore not a compromise, but a deliberate solution tailored precisely to how people actually use ride-hailing services. A common criticism is that adding extra seats would be easy and would not meaningfully affect performance or cost. This argument overlooks a basic but crucial principle of physics and economics. Larger and heavier vehicles consume more energy. Every additional kilogram increases the energy required to accelerate, brake, and maintain speed, which directly raises operating expenses. In an autonomous fleet that drives continuously, even small increases in energy consumption compound into massive long-term costs. The cybercab avoids this trap by being as small and lightweight as possible without sacrificing functionality. Its narrow width is intentional, not a limitation. The vehicle is only as wide as necessary to ensure passenger comfort and safety, no more and no less. The aerodynamic profile is highly refined to reduce drag, allowing the car to travel further using less energy. The overall mass is minimized, improving efficiency across the board. Even details such as wheel sizing, larger rear wheels compared to the front, are chosen to optimize traction, stability, and efficiency. Despite its compact footprint, the cybercab still includes a spacious trunk, recognizing that passengers often carry luggage or personal items. Every design decision serves the same objective, lowering the cost per mile. This focus becomes even more critical when viewed through the lens of transportation as a service. In such a model, consumers are not buying cars, they are buying rides. If multiple companies can offer comparable safety and similar waiting times, then these factors stop being differentiators. Once safety and convenience reach parity, price becomes the dominant factor influencing user choice. The company that can deliver rides at the lowest cost while remaining profitable will inevitably capture the largest share of the market. This is where Tesla holds an overwhelming advantage. Competing autonomous vehicle operators such as Waymo face extraordinarily high costs to deploy a single vehicle. Estimates suggest that placing one Waymo autonomous car on public roads can cost well over $100,000. These expenses arise from several factors. Waymo does not manufacture its own vehicles, so it must purchase them from third parties. It then outfits those vehicles with an array of expensive sensors, including LiDAR, radar, and other specialized hardware. And it must integrate complex systems that further drive up costs. Tesla's approach is fundamentally different. Tesla designs and manufactures its own vehicles at scale, allowing it to tightly control costs throughout the supply chain. The Cybercab, built from the ground up with autonomy in mind, is expected to have a production cost below $30,000, potentially significantly lower over time. Even Tesla's existing Model Y, far larger and more complex than the Cybercab, is already sold profitably at around $40,000. Given the Cybercab's reduced size, lower material requirements, and simpler interior, it is reasonable to expect that Tesla can produce it for substantially less. This cost advantage alone places Tesla in a nearly unassailable position. But the advantage does not end there. Tesla already operates at a scale that few, if any, companies in the world can match. Its manufacturing infrastructure is capable of producing millions of vehicles per year. Even if a competitor had unlimited financial resources, replicating this level of production capacity would take many years. Autonomous transportation is not just a software challenge, it is a manufacturing challenge, and Tesla is already far ahead. Beyond hardware and production scale, Tesla also leads in autonomy itself. Tesla is widely regarded as the only company that has made meaningful progress toward general-purpose autonomous driving. Its system is designed to operate across diverse environments without relying on detailed pre-mapped data. In contrast, 
Waymo's technology depends heavily on high-definition maps and dense sensor arrays. This approach works well in carefully prepared and tightly controlled areas, but struggles to scale beyond them. The limitations of this strategy become apparent when unexpected situations arise. If traffic lights fail, road layouts change, or conditions deviate from what the system was trained on, Waymo vehicles can become confused or immobilized, sometimes blocking traffic entirely. This fragility highlights the difficulty of expanding such systems rapidly to new cities or regions. Tesla's vision-based approach, by contrast, aims to produce vehicles that understand how to drive in general, rather than how to drive in a specific, predefined location. Even if we imagine an extremely unlikely scenario in which Waymo somehow overcomes all of these disadvantages, matching Tesla and software capability, reducing hardware costs to the same level, and scaling production just as quickly, the decisive factor would still remain operating cost per mile. This metric is unforgiving. Vehicles that are heavier, less aerodynamic, and more complex will always cost more to operate than those optimized for efficiency. The CyberCab's lightweight structure, aerodynamic design, and highly efficient drivetrain give Tesla a permanent structural advantage in this regard. Because of this, Tesla can offer ride-hailing services at lower prices while still earning a profit. Over time, this allows Tesla to steadily reduce fares, attracting more users without sacrificing financial sustainability. As the fleet grows, waiting times decrease, further improving the service and reinforcing Tesla's lead. The likely outcome over the next several years is that Tesla rapidly deploys a global robo-taxi network. The CyberCab will form the backbone of this fleet, handling the vast majority of one- and two-passenger trips. Larger vehicles such as the Model 3 and Model Y will complement the CyberCab, serving trips that require additional seating. This flexible fleet composition allows Tesla to meet diverse customer needs while maintaining optimal efficiency. Competitors like Waymo will face a difficult dilemma. To retain users, they will be forced to lower prices to remain competitive with Tesla. However, doing so will push them further into unprofitability. This situation mirrors the current state of the electric vehicle market, where many manufacturers lose money on every vehicle sold while attempting to match Tesla's prices. The more they scale, the more they lose. What design choices allow Tesla RoboTaxi CyberCab to outperform Waymo and others? The Tesla RoboTaxi is not expected to rely on an oversized battery pack. Instead, industry observers suggest that a capacity of roughly 50 kilowatt hours would be more than adequate, and there's even room for it to be smaller. This design choice aligns perfectly with the vehicle's core purpose, short distance, high frequency travel within urban environments. Unlike long-range personal vehicles, a robo-taxi does not need to traverse hundreds of miles in a single trip. Its primary function is to shuttle passengers efficiently between destinations throughout the day. For this reason, an estimated driving range of 200 to 250 miles is considered entirely sufficient for daily robo-taxi operations. Within dense city landscapes, vehicles are constantly returning to charging points between rides, making excessive range unnecessary. What matters most is uptime, efficiency, and the ability to move people quickly and reliably from point A to point B. Performance-wise, the robo-taxi will still benefit from the inherent advantages of electric propulsion. Instant torque allows for swift acceleration, which is especially useful in city traffic. However, Tesla is expected to cap the vehicle's top speed. This decision prioritizes passenger safety, regulatory compliance, and energy efficiency. Limiting maximum speed also reduces battery strain and avoids unnecessary power loss, ultimately extending battery lifespan and lowering operating costs. From a manufacturing perspective, a smaller battery pack offers additional benefits. Batteries remain one of the most expensive components of electric vehicles, so reducing battery size directly lowers production costs. This cost efficiency will be essential if Tesla intends to deploy the robo-taxi at scale across its fleet. Lower build costs enable faster expansion, making widespread adoption more feasible. Beyond range and efficiency, charging capability is another area drawing significant attention. There is strong reason to believe that the Tesla RoboTaxi will support extremely fast charging. Ahead of the RoboTaxi's official unveiling, Tesla revealed an automated charging system, signaling a future where vehicles charge themselves without human involvement. This development aligns seamlessly with Tesla's vision of full autonomy. A truly driverless vehicle cannot rely on a human to plug it in. Autonomous charging is not just a convenience, it is a necessity. 
the robo-taxi must be capable of managing its own energy needs from start to finish. Given the relatively modest driving range, rapid charging becomes absolutely critical. Tesla already has access to advanced battery technology developed in partnership with Cattle, which enables full charging cycles in as little as 10 to 15 minutes. With this technology available, it is reasonable to assume that the robo-taxi will spend minimal downtime recharging, maximizing fleet utilization. Wireless charging also remains a strong possibility. In such a setup, the robo-taxi could autonomously navigate into a garage or depot equipped with induction charging pads embedded beneath the floor. As long as the vehicle includes an induction coil, energy transfer could occur without any physical connection. This would completely eliminate the need for manual plug-in systems and further reinforce the vehicle's autonomous nature. Elon Musk has also hinted at a broader ecosystem beyond Tesla-owned vehicles. In the future, private Tesla owners may be able to deploy their cars as robo-taxis when not in personal use. Musk has suggested that within six months to a year, Tesla will introduce a framework allowing owners to join the CyberCab network. Under this revenue-sharing model, Tesla would retain approximately 30% of earnings, while the remaining 70% would go to the vehicle owner. Naturally, the rise of robo-taxi services raises important questions about trade-offs. Functionally, the vehicle is rumored to be a compact, two-seat design optimized exclusively for city travel. Its smaller size would make it ideal for navigating crowded streets while consuming minimal energy. One of the most radical aspects of the robo-taxi is the complete elimination of traditional driving controls. There will be no steering wheel, no accelerator, and no brake pedals, an unmistakable declaration that human driving is no longer part of the equation. According to Musk, the robo-taxi is being engineered from the ground up specifically for autonomous operation. Rather than adapting an existing vehicle platform, Tesla is designing this car with self-driving as its sole purpose. This marks a major turning point in the evolution of transportation, signaling a shift away from human-centered vehicle design. Perhaps the most compelling promise of the cybercab lies in its potential to dramatically reduce transportation costs. Musk has repeatedly emphasized that robo-taxi fares could undercut services like Uber and Lyft by a wide margin. Some estimates place operating costs as low as 18 cents per mile, compared to $1.50 to $2.50 per mile for traditional ride-hailing services. Removing the driver alone eliminates one of the largest expense categories. Tesla also highlights the broader economic advantages of electric vehicles. EVs already benefit from lower fuel and maintenance costs, and the cybercab is expected to amplify these savings. While gasoline taxis may spend around 12 cents per mile on fuel, the cybercab's energy costs could fall between 3 cents and 5 cents per mile, benefiting both Tesla and riders. To further expand accessibility, Tesla is reportedly exploring subscription-based pricing. Under this model, users could pay a flat monthly fee, potentially around $200, for unlimited rides within certain Does eliminating human drivers make the cybercab safer or more risky? And is Tesla truly ready for fully autonomous driving in complex urban environments? Please share your opinion in the comments section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. Subscribe now so you don't miss the next breaking Tesla update. It's coming in just two days. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.